I'm trying to start a series. I'm, I'm trying to have a series going. I'm gonna try new. Th- I, don't, I don't have a series yet, but I'm gonna try new things. I'm gonna try different things. Like right now, I'm about to do a try not to cringe challenge. If y'all want that to be a series, please, please, please let me know in the uh, let me know in the comments. If y'all don't like it, let me know in the comments. I'll try something else. It could be a Roblox series. It could be a just like anything, a game series, anything y'all want, bro. But I'm starting with a try not to cringe. If y'all like it, let me know, and this will be the series. So let's get on with the game. <laughs> First, get a jar. Patrick, that's a pickle. Yes. I think y'all have seen this one by now, but I wanted to explore it a little bit deeper with y'all. That's her mother, in case that wasn't clear. Little baby. Wait, 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 what? Me thinking I would have a petite little girl after having my son. Now, but I wanted to explore it a little bit deeper with y'all. That's her mother, in case that wasn't clear. She got a lot of backlash for this. So this mom decides to make a response to wait until to the backlash. Five to start the generational trauma. And I'm pretty sure that you got the context of that whole video wrong. For those who did not understand the joke of the video, let me explain myself. Harlow, my daughter in the video, is an IVF baby. Because she's an IVF baby, my doctors told me that she was going to be small. For some reason, IVF babies tend to be smaller because the placenta does not grow properly and usually ends up in having a smaller Anyways, baby. just purely from a comedy standpoint, if you have to spend over a minute to explain your joke, it's not a good joke. And listen, I'm a comedian and I make jokes that my kids are assholes, but this is not a good look. Acting like a fucking mean girl to your baby in diapers? Cause she's not petite? And then for her to come back with like, y'all are dumb because this is an IVF baby joke. Uh, that's actually even worse. You had this beautiful, healthy baby through the struggles of IVF and your brain went, I wanna make a joke about how she's not petite. And then for her to turn off the comments and keep the video going. Literally with everyone being like, um, listen, it's your wording, it's your energy, everything about it was just off. She's like, nah, I'm still funny. People are so sensitive these days. <laughs> I feel for that child. And in the same Three week, we have this Michelle other Michelle. white- I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's not, like, I, I get where she's coming from. I get where that girl is. It's not that serious, bro. <laughs> it's not that serious, bro. Woman by the name Ingrid Brown, this who's is at a first three time Michelin star a three sushi star Michelin restaurant. restaurant. We were excited, a fun date night. We're in different with her city. husband. I mean, we're eating gold at this point. She's of course, forbid. I mean, we're getting fish more every sushi time. restaurant. The entire okay. Something out and when she got called out, ignorant, you know, <laughs> women are wild. <laughs> I tell you, women. Are hey yo, what the fuck? What are you doing that for? Yo. The lack of self awareness. I tell you, <laughs> women are wild. <laughs> weird eye. Bro, you're the wild one. You're the weird one, bro. What the fuck was that? Well, I'll just say it. I'm bored. I'm bored. But like, what if we were like at home? I want to die. I, I, I. <laughs> Ugly. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the world? You hang out with a chronically online motherfucker and, goes li- and go literally anywhere. Home, like watching a show. Like, like, what if we were watching like Breaking Bad or Stranger Things? Oh, dude, why do you make me do this? This is bull. I just wanted to say you have a very incredibly sweet aura. Oh, yeah. An ISA, as Kenneth would say. Kenneth. Your energy tickles me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you standing there? <laughs> like, bro. Uh, okay. Yeah, your energy tickles me. Uh, okay. My niggas. 
Like, you just gonna let this nigga talk to you? Like, ew, get away from me, bro. I'd like to spend the evening with you. If why are you still here, bro? I would have already walked away or socked this nigga, bro. Like, why are you still here, bro? Like, if you wouldn't mind. No. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. No, thanks. Rain check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Okay, have a great night. Dolphin die five five? Yeah. Night, <laughs> you too. Okay. There you go. Yep. Bro, why are you still here, bro? If this weird ad nigga was talking to me, like, I would have already left, bro. Why are you still just acknowledging him? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, check this out. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's from a good time right there. Happy oh, Watching these cringe as from Eddie Stand. Slowly making me want to stop being a strangy, stranger things fan. I don't like this! Chrissy, wake up! to the past and all my bad decisions so I ain't ever looking back I'm just saying good oh, what position do you have to be in to milk. have to change them and pluck when you have to change them in public did you poop yourself or something bro no no no, no. what position do you gotta be to be changing that in public I don't know, unless you don't have a home or something, I don't know. But I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. But if it's, other than that, like, what position would you, like, you pooped yourself? Like, what happened, bro? There ain't no way of growing ass. Say yourself, bro. <laughs> you feel me? There's no way. Never looking back. Oh. Probably, like, girl stuff. Mm, yeah. But still, don't you, don't, don't let you be wearing, like, Girl diapers or uh, what's the other thing called? It's not called girl diapers. I know. I'm just. I'm not. I don't, I don't care about the actual name. That's basically what it is. And they have and tampons. Don't I have that though? I'm just saying good. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Real something tonight, Corey. That's it. Stop. You've been doing a lot with Corey tonight. That's it. Stop. You've been doing. Team. Hello team. If you thought there's no way this show can get any more deranged, you are wrong. So if you believe in God, just pray for a second. What the f Richard? Richard wanted to be a king so badly and then once he saw that it was over. He's neglecting his child, he's neglecting his kingly duties, he's neglecting his staff, his bodyguard. All of England is suffering. The buck has victims. Richard abandons the masquerade party to go be nasty with Buckingham. Some kind of gay anime? Yeah. But then in the middle of them getting it on, there's a noise outside and Buckingham goes to investigate where he finds James Terrell in a tree watching them through the window. When asked what the he was doing, he demands a with him and Buckingham. Hey yo, what the fuck? Sounds like the teacher from Family Odd Terrace. Stop it! He sounds like fucking Cookie Jake. No! He looks identical. He looks identical! Embrace a woman's delicate ears. They looked in one take and they're like, yeah, that was good. I got some news for you, Richard. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what am I watching, bro? Like, man. Wait. Am I not allowed to skip and try not to cringe, bro? Like. Yeah, let me know, let me know, because, bro, what am I watching, bro? Babe, you're so sad. Let me some of the chapters. Yup, Richard is pregnant. Uh, and pregnant is always possible. I love how they're having this moment in front of his dad. Something's never changed. He's gonna abandon his army and go in the woods to have How many times is he gonna have altercations in the forest with men named Henry? He's gone too long without the richessy. He's about to have a portion. Can we talk about 
jokes and memes later we decided the three of us are very deranged and we went to like the William Tate show you go up there to do this like what are you doing bro go sit down Rockin' with a mouse tonight. Piece of cheese, I'm gonna have a big bite. I get a guava, white tea, lemonade with light ice, and a tall ice coffee with. Whoa, dude. <laughs> that shit was ass. I ship Deku with Todoroki. Deku with me, Bakugo. Why? Because I'm awesome and everyone. I have this thing. Make sure you remember to unpause. Yeah. That's me right now, cuz. Like, what? That's why Deku would never be with Gabakugo. I don't know why these fans keep trying to ship, ship him, ship them, when they know it's not happening. <laughs> just stop. Damn, just stop. Deku with me, Bakugo. Why? Because I'm awesome and everyone. I have this thing. Call it a little quirk. Uh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head. <laughs> look at it. If you will, I have hair in my armpit. I have it there for a few reasons. One, lazy. Two, fuck the patriarchy. And three, your response to them tells me every What the fuck is this? Bro, what is this, bro? <laughs> what is on your head, bro? No, if it's some kind of disease, I apologize. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not because you still have hair on your head. Or maybe that's, I don't know. But if it's not a disease, what the fuck are you doing? Patriarchy. And three, your response to them tells me every- Recently a TikToker- Dropping random guys, my nudes at the airport. Or apparently airdropped her nudes to people in an airport. This video- I should have been there. No, I'm just playing went viral recently because well people weren't really sure if this was a joke or not to be honest she probably didn't do it but of course the whole thing blew up in her face because i mean she could have sent this for all we know she could have and she could have sent it to a little timmy on his ipad playing roblox so that's when she responded saying the whole thing was a joke and if we're being honest here your joke just sucks ass if literally nobody gets Oh, 
her voice is so cringe while doing this. <laughs> Alright YouTube, that's the end of the vid. If you like the Try Not To Cringe, let me know. If you don't, let me know. If you want me to have another series, let me know. This is not the series yet, but this might be. You know, I just, you guys just gotta let me know. Alright, and we out.